excited, very excited. My business partner and I, Michelle, did not join until this week. Basically, we came in about a week and a half into the program. And while it was a lot to dive into, it's not too overwhelming, which is great. And I love the um, the energy from the, the group, from Chris and Sean. I mean, it's just been amazing what I've consumed so far. I would say in week two, my biggest takeaway was the six meta biases. I come from a copywriting background, so that was really interesting. And also to be able to take that and use it in a way to teach our podcasters on how they can use that in their podcasting content, which I think is going to be huge as well, not just for our business, but for them also. All right, here we are at week three. I caught up with all the training. My business partner, Michelle, and I also have gotten a lot of clarity around our Facebook group and the direction we're going to take it, the new direction, the, the new avatar that we have developed and the new offers that we're going to be offering. We're really excited. And I will say too, it was really nice seeing the, the actual flow that we went over. I believe it was tab two and knowing with our group that we already have a little bit of help because we've got a tab one that we can dive into and start reaching out to some of these warm people and pushing them into our next cohort of our Launch Your Podcast program. A little exhausted, been playing catch up. We actually took the information from week four, the tab one, and gone. we've gone in and designated the people that are in our group presently because we're changing the angle of our group, but we haven't announced that yet, but that's coming up pretty soon. We're announcing that to our group members, but we have people in there now that are already warm leads, already raised their hand, said, I don't have a podcast. So we have gone through that tracker sheet, designated all those people, uh, color coded them so we can reach back out to them, welcome them into the group again, officially with this new angle and start reaching out to them to get them on a call to get them into our launcher podcast and 30 days program, our new cohort that's launching here in the next few weeks. Hey, so I'm doubling up week five and week six in the uh, Sales Ascenders Mastermind. Great couple of weeks. A little slow last week because I was still recovering from COVID, but this week has been amazing. The content last week was amazing. The sales, diving into the sales conversations and the authenticity of the conversation because it's not scripted is huge for me and Michelle as well. It's something that's more comfortable to where we like to have real authentic conversations with the people we're dealing with. And this is one of the first sales programs I've been through where you just don't get a script that you're supposed to keep people to. I mean, this is actually listening to your prospects' pains, to what they're saying, asking them questions, letting the conversation lead itself down the path that it needs to go down. So this week I've started reaching out to our group members and reconnecting through tab two, following the process, filling it out. And I have booked some sales calls through that process for next week. So looking forward to it and can't wait to continue to fill up that calendar. All right, week seven. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, I got the tracking sheet open, doing some group outreach and last week had calls booked and during week seven I actually on those calls the first time I started using the game and it was really useful I could see it in the person I was talking to how their eyes sort of lit up like oh we've got this is going to be the step in the process for this call and how it's going to benefit you and then also it helped me keep on track too to where I wasn't I tend to you know get engaged with the person and go down a lot of different paths if I'm not careful so this kept me on point and straight ahead all right week eight journey video so we booked more calls than the previous week we closed more sales and got more people closer to the sale than the previous week and started getting into a little bit of a groove between Michelle and myself on what she is taking care of and what I'm doing on my side and starting to get a little more coordinated. Also using the game, uh, it felt much more comfortable. Now I just need to take it a step further in the process and start moving some of those other items from the sales process into my conversations. So it was overall a good week, lots of momentum, lots of things going on. And our next step, our biggest challenge I would say right now has been to get a 
um, get an identity around the group and we're working on that we're coming closer we're putting together our big our big package that we're gonna start selling here in quarter two. So that's helping us get clarity around the group and who we want to prospect and bring into the group. So week nine, week nine was a little bit of a slowdown period for us um, due to extenuating circumstances, not the actual mastermind and uh, training itself. Some good things coming out of all this. Michelle continues to be a rock star at reaching out and connecting to some really awesome JV partnerships. And then also our group engagement is growing because of all of the, um, we've, we've really seen the growth because of the welcome messages. Before we were putting the welcome messages, just one big push out once a week, but started following uh, the training and putting them in the comments because we're getting you know new members coming in regularly now and um, putting them in the comments and really getting a lot more engagement on those posts. So I guess our big wins this week were actually closing some major deals, um, starting to implement the sales process a little bit more, getting ready to relaunch our group. Uh, I believe we have a goal set for next week to relaunch the group in a total different direction that's more aligned with our business and where we visualized it when we first decided to join join sales ascenders. So big things are coming in quarter number two. I told Chris when I when, when we were trying to decide whether or not to sign up that, hey, we're probably not going to be ready till quarter number two. But I'm glad we did. I'm glad we went on and dove in and started learning the information and getting the systems and the processes under our belt. So quarter number two is going to be massive growth for us. What a 12 weeks has been. So much to learn, so much to implement. We appreciate everything that Sean and Chris and the team have done and built for us. It's amazing and we can't wait to continue over these next, what, nine months plus into the future uh, implementing these things that we've learned and the software, I've got to tell you, the software just blew me away. We jumped right in immediately to start participating in the software. It's going to change our business. It's got so many different creative ways we can use it for ourselves, for our clients, and to help build systems around the software with it being an integral part of the engine of that system as well. So I just can't believe what, what you guys have put together and we're, we're so excited to use it, so excited to implement it and so excited to help you all share it with the world so that it is very successful.